and welcome to day four. This is video two of our one minute fitness. Um, today is all about upper body. I know some of you are desperate for some great arms, definitely mentioning the old triceps there, the arms. Um, we did cover press ups, which is a great arm one, which is why I'm not going to cover any of those today. Um, but yes, we're going in for a tricep dip into the chair. So this could be your sofa, this could be a stool, it could be a box. I've got a stool. Um, I'm going to show you how to do some tricep dips. I'm going to show you how to do them properly. And then we're going to get on and do them for a whole minute. Um, if you don't know what One Minute Fitness is or if you've been following along on the series and you don't have my strategy guide yet, um, just pop a little comment, one minute, one minute to win it underneath, something like that. And uh, I'll make sure that I send it to you ASAP because it's going to help the whole thing make a whole lot of sense. So uh, let's chat about a tricep dip, shall we? Triceps are this, this muscle at the back of the arm. A lot of you are moaning about loose, loose wings over there. So this is one of uh, a good body weight movement that you can do, although we are using the chair. So uh, get, your sofa, get your sofas out. Again, if your one minute is in the adverts, this is perfect for that. Um, here we go, shall we? Okay, when we're going to do uh, triceps, what I want you to do is approach your chair or your stool like so. But before you even get going, we're going to do our five steps to perfect form. If you don't know what your five steps to perfect form are, you can just uh, put link underneath and I'll send you my uh, video for that. It's really useful and I use it in all of my teachings with everybody. So five steps to perfect form. We're going to anchor those heels into the floor. We're going to give our bums a good squeeze. We're going to open up our chest. We're going to get our chest up to the ceiling and we're going to push our shoulders back. From here, what I want you to do is um, put your rib cage over your belly button and then I want you to engage your core. So we've got our five steps, perfect form. If you don't know what they are, tell me and I will tell you. Um, we're going to now, with a nice straight back, we're going to sit a squat onto our chair. When you find your chair, you're going to anchor your palms in to the edge. Your palms are going to face forward, it's all good. From here, woo, what I want you to do is anchor your heels into the floor and engage your bum. That's your stabilizers. Remember, we've got a chest out and shoulders back here. Now we're going to lower our weight down. All good. Elbows are pointing backwards. From here, you're going to press all of your weight into your palm anchors. Resist, go slow, controlled movement down and a nice press through those hand anchors. And your heels are your stabilizers, so they're not going to push you up. Your arms are going to do that. That's a a good starting one for a tricep. If you do want to make these slightly harder, you can actually extend your legs out, so we have to arrange ourselves again. Always arrange yourself from standing. Never get into the position and then try to arrange it because it's just never gonna work. You need to do it beforehand. Five things. We'll approach it. We've got great anchors in the heels. We're gonna do chest out, shoulders back. We're gonna sit. Nice straight back onto our chair or our stool, and then you can extend your legs. But you see how my back does not change position, it stays nice and straight and parallel to my stool slash chair. All good? So that's going to be your tougher one to do there. Um, these are tough, but they are what a lot of you are asking for. So if you team this one with any of the other exercises that I'm going to do today, which is a bear crawl and some openers, or some strengthening for the upper back, then and the press ups, these are all perfect upper body uh, movements. Okay, I'm going to stick my timer on, and we're going to do one minute of tricep dips. Are you ready? I am. We're going in three, two. One, nice. We're going to arrange ourselves against this stool. We've got those five things, yes? Hands are facing forwards and they're anchored in. 
We're going to keep our back nice and straight against the back of the chair. We're going to lower the weight. We're going to press all of our weight into our palm anchors to come up. And I want you to get into the practice of using your breath to help you. So you'll lower down, you'll breathe in. As you make any movement, you breathe out. So we'll breathe in, breathe out. There's a lot more power and strength with a controlled breath. We're good, we've got 10 seconds. This is a tough movement. This is definitely a burner. We're definitely going to feel the effects of one minute fitness with that movement, <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, there you go, there's your second movement for today. Uh, day four, we've got one more video heading your way, so stay tuned. See you soon.